and welcome to Trash Park. This is Bardwaj, and that is the Tata Tiago EV. It is India's most affordable electric vehicle in the market, and now it is time to tell you how this car is to drive in this video. Let's get started. Now, before I drive the car and tell you how the Tiago EV is to drive and what are its features with related to driving, let me give a quick recap on what are the pricing variants and the color options as available on this hatchback. Now, uh, prices start at 8.49 lakh and goes all the way up to 11.29 lakh for the top end variant that you're seeing right here. Now, this particular electric hatchback is offered in uh, two different models. That is the mid-range model and the high range model so what you see here is the high range model now the difference between these two is uh, with respect to the powertrain and also a couple of features uh, with respect to the powertrain the lower end model gets a, a 45 kilowatt motor and a lower battery pack of 19.2 kilowatt hour but the model that you see right here which is the top end model or the high range model uh, is offered with a 55 kilowatt motor and also gets a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack now there is a difference between the range that the model offers as well the low spec model or the mid range model offers 250 kilometers per charge according to MIDC cycle the model that you see here that's the high range model offers 315 kilometers per charge according to the MIDC cycle and also the mid range model is offered in two variants and the high range model is offered in three variants what you see here is the XZ plus Lux which is offered with a 7.2 kilowatt hour uh, AC fast charger you have an option to pick that up as well and speaking of the color options it gets uh, five color options what you see here is the teal blue you have other interesting color options on the Tiago EV as well. So that is a quick recap. Now uh, let me get into the design aspect of the Tiago EV. So what you see here is more or less the same Tiago petrol variant uh, that you would spot, but there are a couple of changes. Right up front, you get a close grill and there are a lot of teal blue accents uh, marking this as an electric car from Tata Motors. As you already seen, from Tata Motors, all their electric cars have that teal blue accents, that electric blue accents, uh, which will sort of distinguish between their uh, petrol or IC engine uh, counterparts. Now, what you see here is a closed honeycomb grille and you get a humanity line that is also carried forward on the electric model. And you also get a grill lower down with the tri arrow design, which aids to cooling of all the electric bits that is under the hood. Uh, also, I would like to point out at this moment that there is no front trunk on this car. There's all the mechanical bits that are present here. Uh, you only get a boot space at the back for uh, your luggage storage. And also on the writing front, just like the Tiago's uh, IC engine counterpart, you continue to get projector headlamps right here. And also a DRL that is uh, present next to the fog lamps. Uh, and it looks very good. Actually, it uplifts the car's front profile and with that topping off its front fascia are those funky looking uh, skirt lips right there and a strong hood line right here now uh, let's go to the side profile and speaking of the side profile uh, the tiago ev continues to get 14 inch uh, steel wheels now what tata has done is they have plonked on a wheel cover that also adds to the aesthetic value and a functional value where it enhances the aerodynamic efficiency of the car from the wheels perspective and if you see the side profile the overall silhouette remains the same and there is not much changed with respect to the uh, Tiago EV that's the IC engine uh, Tiago EV you continue to get the same kind of door handles a dual tone door handle a blacked out window line and the uh, A pillar and the B pillar and more or less it remains the same it contains the same shoulder line and also the uh, line character line that is down below so before we move on to uh, the rear profile i would like to point out that all the colors of the tiago ev comes with a blacked out roof you, yes you can spot that there is a blacked out roof and it also gets a blacked out a dual tonish orvm and also a spoiler which is blacked out as well now coming to the spoiler let us go to the rear design and speaking of the rear design you can see that Rear design also more or less remains the same as the Tiago uh, petrol powered car and you get those uh, split uh, spoilers or uh, spoiler looking elements to enhance the overall look and you also get a large uh, Tiago EV uh, badging right here with a large Tata logo you also get to see a rear parking camera right here. 
Apart from the design, even the boot space almost remains the same despite adding a huge battery pack in the boot. Now to access the boot, you have two ways. Uh, one, you can uh, press on the key fob button that is right here or just press on the request center or the boot, electric boot release button that is right here. Once you press on that, the tailgate releases, it is on struts and it will come up on its own. And here you get to see a 240 liters of boot space. Now the standard Tiago or the IC engine Tiago also has 240 liters of boot space. How has uh, Tata achieved that? Uh, that is through omitting the spare wheel. You do not get a spare wheel on the Tiago EV. Instead, you get a puncture repair kit. Now that way Tata Motors have utilized that spare wheel storage for battery pack and the boot space remains the same as you can spot here we have kept a full cabin luggage a suitcase that is right here now apart from the storage space you also get a portable charger that is present in the boot uh, now that eats up a little bit of storage space uh, on the tiago ev and you also get a puncture repair kit that i uh, mentioned about earlier uh, it's a handy thing it gets an inflator and also some glue sticks to plug the puncher now that is about the boot space now it is time to go inside the Tiago EV and show you how the interiors of the Tiago EV looks like. So now we are sitting inside the Tiago EV and again it is a familiar sight uh, as supposed to the Tiago IC engine uh, counterpart. You get to see all the similar bits right here including the 7 inch infotainment system and the fully digital instrument cluster. However, there are certain EV bits that are there in this car especially the steel blue highlighting that are around the AC vents and also around the instrument cluster. This definitely looks uh, premium and also what I liked about the fact of, about this cabin is despite this being one of the most affordable electric vehicles in the Indian market, Tata Motors haven't skimped on the tech or the features that are, that are provided on this car. Uh, so uh, on that note, let me start with the infotainment system. So you get a 7 inch infotainment system that also features Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a wired connection though it would require a wired connection. Uh, but that is present and also it gets uh, Aira connected technology with 45 plus connected features and it also gets the Z Connect app from your smartphone that you can control this car with. Uh, now the features that you can control is lock and unlock, you can geofence it, you can blow the horn and also you can set the temperature of the AC and enter a cool cabin especially in hot Indian summers. Now those are very convenient features. Apart from that, the Z Connect application will also allow the driver to analyze their driving behavior and help them extract most mileage out of their uh, driving behavior by giving them a energy score. Now that way you can get most range out of the Tiago EV. Now apart from that, uh, you also get a fully automatic climate control. However, I would like to nitpick right here that I've said it in uh, most Tata cars that I've reviewed that there should be a display right here next to the climate control vent so that you are uh, looking at what are the changes uh, right there. However, for now, if you change anything with regards to the climate control, you will the change will be displayed on the infotainment system. Now, that is a little bit iffy for me to, you know, uh, sort of change it by looking at your it, it takes a little more time to get used to. Uh, but uh, you also have voice commands that you can use to control the temperature. Now, apart from that, uh, you get a fully digital instrument cluster, as I mentioned. However, in the Tiago EV, it has tailored to offer more EV based related information, such as the level of region that is in and uh, what is the speed, what is the uh, kilowatt hour of uh, you know, power that is being used at any instance. All that is being displayed and apart from that, the, your drive modes and the uh, speedometer and the trip meters, all the details are present right over there in front of the driver. Now that is neatly laid out as well. Right behind the instrument cluster is a flat bottom steering wheel, very much the same as the Tiago uh, petrol model and you get uh, mounted controls on the left and the right hand side the right hand side is used for the cruise control which is available on this uh, tiago ev and the left hand side is used to uh, control the infotainment system and the voice command uh, feature of this car apart from that coming back to the center console right here you get a dial the rotary dial now this is to change between different modes of driving yeah 
there is our neutral drive and sport yes this gets a sport mode as well now the dial moves and highlights the respective uh, driving mode that the car currently in and also on the center console you could spot two 12 volt sockets one for the front passenger and the driver and another 12 volt socket right here next to the parking brake the manual parking brake for the rear passengers where they can connect a usb uh, port and charge their devices now that is a neat trick indeed and speaking of storage spaces you get a cubby hole right here and you get two a uh, small sized cup holders and some coin holder and also there is a bottle holder right there for the rear passengers on the door pockets themselves it can hold a half a liter bottle and driver also gets a small cubby hole right here below the ac vents to store some stuff like wallet or even a smartphone now with that the car also gets a couple of physical buttons one is for the push start and stop and you get a stew of buttons right below the infotainment screen one uh, two of the buttons are used for region now this is to lower the region and this is to increase the region mode and this is for the fog lamp right here is the charging door unlocked and locked and you get a universal lock as well and finally there is a boot release button here as well now these are all the features however i wanted to mention one more feature that is present on this car that is Herman's eight speaker audio system it is really good it feels really premium and very much a notch above cars that are way higher up in the price range uh, now good job tata there so those are all the features up front now it's time to head back to the rear seat and show you what is the space that is offered on the Tiago EV if it is compromised because of the battery pack <music> Now I am sitting at the rear seat of the Tiago EV and I will not find any difference with respect to how you sit as compared to the Tiago petrol model that's because the battery pack has not compromised any of the interior cabin space it is neatly placed between the rear seat and the boot as i mentioned earlier so there is no uh, space being robbed by the battery pack in terms of legroom or also in terms of uh, how the seat is placed now this seat is adjusted to my height and i have ample uh, knee room right here and i also have a good amount of legroom which i can tuck my uh, feet under the driver's seat and i also have a uh, ample headroom here as well now there's not much to talk about in the rear seat as you do not get a ac vent or also any sort of uh, seat back pocket right here which could have been an additional storage space however you do get bottle holders on the door pocket and also there is a bottle holder right here for the rear passengers as i mentioned earlier and the seats themselves are very comfortable it's well cushioned uh, you get ample amount of the under thigh support for this segment and you also sit a sort of a reclined position and you also get headrest uh, however it's fixed though so you'll have to sort of adjust yourself and get into a comfortable position which is quite easy and you will not have any trouble uh, in four people traveling in this car however a uh, fifth person as this is marketed as a five seater a fifth person will face a little issue in uh, sitting in the middle that's because the tunnel that you see right here is way high up and uh, now this is not because there's any power train or anything that's going to the back wheel that also adds as a crash protection as well which maintains the structural integrity of the car however that might make it uncomfortable for the third passenger who's sitting in the middle on the rear seat now it is time for me to take this car out for a spin and tell you how this Tiago EV is to drive and from the smile that you're seeing right here, it's pretty good. Let's get started. So now we are driving the Tiago EV and I would like to say one thing right up front is uh, this particular car is a very familiar experience to drive. Uh, that is because it is similar to uh, the Tiago IC engine model that you people must have driven. So if you have driven it, you get the same kind of feeling. Uh, it has similar dynamics of driving is what I can say. But uh, rest of the features, obviously, it has changed because it no longer has a internal combustion engine uh, in the hood. It has an electric powertrain. That is the Tata's electric uh, Ziptron high voltage architecture powertrain that is now featured on the Tiago EV. As I mentioned earlier, uh, this comes in uh, two models. That's the high range and the uh, mid range model. Now, high range model comes with a battery pack of 24 kilowatt hour and also it comes paired to a 55 kilowatt motor. Now, this together uh, provides a torque output of 114 newton meters and also it provides midc range of 315 kilometers now 
uh, that is under standard conditions but uh, i can definitely say that uh, with the short drive that we had uh, today i would not be able to provide a real time figure uh, for what the range is but however based on our experience uh, from the previous electric vehicles that we have driven uh, we can certainly say that this car could return a range of around uh, 200 and 50 kilometers per charge now that is definitely doable on this car so the realistic range of the tiago ev would lie somewhere around 250 kilometers uh, per charge now that is enough for uh you to travel more than a week or even uh more so uh, if you're tra- commuting from your home to office and if you are brave enough and if you can plan your trip this will also allow you to do intercity travel as well now with that uh, let me come to charging options on this uh, you get to see uh, several charging options that is provided by tata for example if you want to charge it via a regular 15 amp socket you can do that as well and it would require around 10 hours for this uh, car to completely charge up and if you are using a 7.2 kilowatt hour uh, the ac fast charger that is provided by tata that you can use up the battery in under 3 hours and also if you are using a 3.3 kilowatt hour uh, portable charger you can charge this car up within 7 hours and if you want to charge your car quickly then you can use the 50 kilowatt dc fast charger to juice up from 10 to 80% in under 1 hour so uh, that helps in juicing up the battery to a certain extent and that will allow you to do intercity uh, travel on the tiago ev as well now helping you in enhancing that range is uh, three levels of region mode now you can switch off the region as well that's on level 0 uh, and subsequently you can change between 1 to level 1 to level 3 modes level 1 being the lowest and level 3 being the highest now i have noticed couple of things while using region difference between the region modes is not that vast uh, you will uh, more or less it is uh, similar to it uh, but it actually differs in what speed it is getting activated at uh, probably a strong region will also get activated at to higher speeds and the lower region will not uh, will get activated at lower speeds uh, now that being one another uh, thing that i noticed is uh, region would need some time uh, to uh, as and when the car warms up or the motor warms up the region becomes stronger uh, but initially at cold starts or in the morning uh, when the car has been idle for quite a while uh, it'll take some time to uh, get that region power uh, once the motor is warmed up it will definitely have more region on all the levels now that will help juice up the battery and increase the range level 3 region sort of has the uh, single foot pedal uh, driving feature however it is not completely single foot pedal driving the car will start to roll in 5 and uh, 5 to 6 km per hour uh, keeping it uh, easy for indian traffic conditions where there is bumper to bumper traffic but more or less it has a good uh, strong region on the level 3 also apart from the different levels of region tiago ev also offers uh, two drive modes that's the drive which is in normal and the sport mode now the sport mode only associates with the uh, power train there's uh, it is not associated to whether how the braking is done or the steering characteristics is changed it is mapped to level 1 region uh, on both the modes so the sport mode allows the tiago ev to accelerate much faster than the drive mode uh, and it will reach uh, good amount of speeds in a shorter time uh, the throttle response become quicker and also there is more power being pushed out from the motor as well now to change the drive modes uh, there's a dial here you can change it uh, from drive to sport and also if you want to shift between different levels of region there are two buttons right here placed below the infotainment screen you can switch between uh, different region modes from there as well now with that let me come to the driving dynamics and as i mentioned earlier uh, the driving dynamics of this car is almost similar to the tiago ic engine uh, model uh, it gets a sort of stiff uh, suspension setup however it is slightly softer than the tiago ic because it has to handle the additional weight also with that the steering setup is bang on and you will be able to maneuver the car very easily at low speeds uh, because the steering is very light and at high speeds or triple digit speeds the steering weighs up and it will give you the amount of confidence that you would require to push this car as well 
Finally, coming to the safety aspects of the car, the Tiago EV is offered with a ton of safety features uh, that includes reverse parking camera with active guidelines, uh, dual airbags, uh, ABS with EBD, hill descent control and uh, hill hold assist and uh, other features as well. However, I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I missed one feature. Uh, now, the Tiago EV does not get rear parking sensors. Uh, with that, the parking would have been much more easier uh, with the audio alert. Uh, for now, it is not being offered on the Tiago EV, uh, which I think is sort of a miss and uh, kind of cost cutting that was not required. Um, otherwise, the car is safe and it is also based on the GN Cap uh, 4 star rated cabin. So, you will be able to get a very uh, a safe cabin as well on the Tiago EV. And speaking about safety, the Tiago EV is offered with a warranty of uh, 8 years or 1,60,000 km and a vehicle warranty of 3 years or uh, 1 lakh km. You are pretty much covered there as well in terms of warranty. Now overall, uh, if you are looking to have a second car in your family just to do daily commutes or even intercity if you plan your trips well, the Tiago EV will certainly fit the bill and will help you get onto that electric bandwagon that the whole world is now talking about. So that was our take on the Tata Tiago EV electric hatchback. As I mentioned earlier, if you are looking for an affordable electric vehicle in the Indian market, this is your only option and I would say a best option as well. Because as you have already seen, despite being an affordable electric vehicle, the Tata Tiago EV does not skimp on features it comes loaded with a ton of features and also several charging options plus a decent range as well. What did you think about the Tata Tiago EV watching our video? Mention them in the comments below. Also, if you are planning to purchase an electric vehicle, would you consider the Tiago EV? If yes, I would want to know why. And also, please like and share this video and do subscribe to Drive Spark if you haven't done it already. This is Bharadwaj signing off and that is the Tata Tiago EV. Stay safe and drive safe.